Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got another work day for you. What we're gonna be looking at is my very first rental property, the duplex that I bought. Uh, what we're gonna be doing to the inside, and there were a lot of questions from my last video where I was talking about, you know, some of the hardships that I'm going through with this rental property. And I thought I'd talk a little bit more to them, answer some of the questions that you guys had, and honestly, for the support that all of you guys showed, and for the people who reached out to me individually, like, it really means a lot to me, and it's helping me through this process as I, this is all new to me. I'm not the, uh, the smartest guy when it comes to real estate investing. I just got into it. I'm learning a lot and I'm trying to make this process so much easier. So if you see anything in this video that, you, uh, that you're that you looking at and you wanna offer some tips, some suggestions, maybe for those of you who have been in real estate longer than I have, well, I think it'd be really great if you guys leave a comment, reach out to me. Heck, uh, I was getting emails. You can reach out to me on Instagram. There's a lot of places you can contact me, but anywhere that you guys uh, wanna reach out, I'll be around and I do uh, fully appreciate all the support you guys show. So uh, let's just jump right in. All right, so real quick, like I wanted to focus on the outside area here. Uh, you can see behind me is both the houses. Now, this is a split driveway. I need to figure out that situation for the winter. It's nice because we'll probably end up splitting costs and uh, we will be repaving probably next year, not something immediate that I need to deal with. But what's cool about this place is all this area back here, this is all my property. And uh, basically the way it works is they have like a deeded passageway using my driveway to be able to come in and park over here with all their cars. So that's kind of cool, like majority of it is mine. So what we're gonna end up doing eventually is fencing in the area back here and uh, making it so you don't have to deal with all the crap that you see back there from the other house. Uh, because there's a lot of clutter behind there and there used to be a fence it was just an awful condition and uh, couldn't be brought up to speed now the outside of my actual house and i think it's going to be really blown out but the outside of my actual house is in relatively good condition and uh, most of the issues are with the interior and especially in the basement we're throwing on a gutter system and they should be installing within uh within a week here so now getting into the basement this is where a majority of the issues that we had were and uh We've been doing a ton of work down here pretty much every weekend coming in and trying to get everything in good shape. You can see the old foundational walls here are uh, rock, granite, and uh, brick as well. So this is just an old, old New England basement. And uh, you can see we've formed up these. We're basically pouring concrete and shoring up these walls because they were bowing in. I'll put some pictures of it. It's kind of hard to tell with all the stuff we have going on in the background here. But, uh, you know, tons of work. This is where a majority of the effort's going. This is the most important stuff to get into order. Now, somebody was commenting about the electrical and uh, saying that in old buildings like this, the electrical is usually an issue, but all of this stuff has recently been redone. You can see the electric box is in relatively good condition. All of it is labeled, and there's another panel that is upstairs as well. Uh, none of that old knob and tube wiring that uh, people have to worry about, which is nice. And then as for plumbing, I think we can see some of it here, but we have that that nice PEX plumbing kind of going through, and all of that has been updated too. Now, the one thing that I had to replace pretty quickly after buying this was the hot water tanks, and that came up on the inspection. I knew that was a cost that was gonna happen, so over here, you can see these brand new hot water tanks. Yeah, tons of stuff going on in the basement. Uh, I'm gonna be providing updates. I'll probably show some of the work that we're doing over there. And uh, this is the emphasis of the property for now. This is what we really wanna make sure is in good condition because if the bones of this property is good, then we can start worrying about the other issues on the inside, which aren't really severe issues. It's more nice to have renovations that we're doing. All right, so right now we're in the front of the house. I meant to mention the roof age is only two years old, but the only problem is they put IKOs on for the, uh, for the shingles and those, what I've heard, last about 15 years as opposed to 30 which is what I guess you typically get from a new roof so I thought uh, we just kind of walk through I talk about the stuff that we're gonna be doing to this place and you can see that already it's pretty cramped in here and uh, there's not a lot of room to maneuver so what we're gonna end up doing is there's just this giant hallway and wasted space and wasted space underneath this staircase in the bottom apartment unit so what we're gonna end up doing is pushing this back make this more breathable, maybe knock down part of this wall to open it up a little bit and just make it more comfortable to get in, you know, bring your groceries in and not have to maneuver around these like really close quarters. All right, so other than that, I'm gonna head up these stairs 
and there's not much that we're actually doing to this staircase in particular but one thing that i do want to point out that we will be doing is if you come up a little further and you pan over to the right you're going to see this open i call it a catwalk i'm not really sure what it's actually called but uh what you're we're going to end up doing is taking a wall from down here and we're gonna extend the wall all the way to the ceiling. And what that is gonna do for us is it gonna allow us to enclose this whole space all the way down to that electric panel you see at the very end there. And then what's gonna happen with that is we're gonna end up putting a little coat closet here. We're gonna close this in. We're gonna have a door that is going to allow you to open it up and access and hang your coats to whatever you need in this area. Now this is really cramped here. You can see this staircase coming down. And what we're going to end up doing, like right now, the issue is you can't really get these bigger appliances through this. You're trying to maneuver th around this whole thing. So we're actually going to take this door frame and we're going to push it over to the right. What there used to be here was a structural column, what we believe. So what we're going to need to do is replace that. And uh, we're going to wall in this whole area here. And I'll show you in a second. But with this area, what we're going to do is make it storage for the bathroom. So it's a pretty sizable little closet space that we're going to get for the bathroom. Why don't you step in? this way here and just pan over here to just show some of the work that we've already done you know there's a lot more that we're gonna need to do but this is just the start and we're definitely learning you know some of the uh, tricks of the trade how to clean up after it because it was uh, really messy to begin with and obviously there's a lot going on there that we need to sort of address if you look at the ceiling we took out all the drop ceiling tiles we're gonna replace them uh, we're going to keep the drop ceiling because they sort of butchered above the old ceiling that was there with the electrical and the HVAC system and everything going on throughout here. Um, let's take a quick look in the bathroom. Now all the electrical we're going to be kind of moving around switching up a little bit to make sure it makes a little bit more sense. But if you come in here, what we were originally thinking was we were going to make this a corner shower unit and open up this space just a little bit more but it wasn't gonna fit, there wasn't enough room for it. So we're gonna end up putting in a unit basically back right where this was. And uh, we should be all set with that. The toilet's gonna stay where it is. We're probably gonna replace the toilet. Vanity's coming over here. We're gonna extend it a little bit, make it just a little bit better. And then behind here where that light switch is, we're gonna take out that. We're gonna move it probably outside of the bathroom or just on this wall here. And this is going to be, you can see where it's cut out, the storage for the, uh, the bathroom here. So I'm really excited to see and get that stuff rolling. And then uh, let's go back out into the living space. Now with the living space, I'm, I meant to explain, we're gonna expose the chimney a little bit and we're gonna bring the wall up to about here to sort of get around this, uh, whatever's going on here and uh, keep the side exposed for the most part and uh, just try and make it look a little bit nicer. We'll try and clean it up and worst case is we would just cover it back up with drywall again. All right, so I'm gonna come into the kitchen now. What you're gonna notice is uh, the plumbing's in this corner. We're gonna actually take that plumbing, it's just gonna be right underneath this window. And what that actually allows us to do is there's about three feet of wasted space behind this wall. It used to be a staircase and we're gonna end up covering over the staircase, gain about three feet. We're gonna actually extend this wall and then we're gonna make a little bit of a mudroom area. We're gonna put a washer and dryer back there and potentially have room for a pantry for the kitchen. Then the cabinetry, the, uh, the stove, everything is gonna extend down this way and uh, it should just offer a little bit you know, of a luxury for having the washer and dryer in the unit, makes it a little bit more homey and you know, drives rental values up a little bit higher. So that's kind of the goal with this place. Now, coming into uh, the first bedroom is what this technically is here. If you wanna get a quick pan of what's going on here, and I'll sort of talk about uh, a lot of the different things that we're gonna be doing to make this space better. So actually the first thing I wanna mention is we're actually taking this door and this door frame, we're gonna move that over here. This wall is gonna be bumped in just a little bit, and this is where you're actually gonna enter the bedroom. Now the reason why this has to be bumped in is to create that room for the other door that was out underneath the staircase, just to make sure you can maneuver around and uh, access this room a little bit easier. So this wall here is gonna stay. It's gonna be, that's where the coat closet is on the other side. And then right here, we're actually adding a closet to this bedroom. So it's gonna be two different closets. Here's the other one here. Now if you come in here, this one's very spacious. There's a lot you could potentially do with this room. Um, but what we're gonna end up doing is just blowing out this wall here and extending it and giving more options. I guess you can put like hangers and stuff in here and do a lot more with the area. All right, one thing I wanna cover and talk about is the flooring. If you wanna just show what's kind of going on here. Um, this blue flooring here, what we're gonna end up doing with this flooring is 
most likely we could just repaint this and keep it as is, but we're obviously probably gonna do a different color, not that blue. But what I really wanna do, especially in this area out here, is put some of the floating flooring out here, some of that luxury vinyl plank, and uh, see how that's gonna do in this area. Same with the bathroom, the same sort of luxury vinyl plank. So we actually thought about restoring the old flooring. This is the original flooring here. It looks pretty shot, so we figured it would just be easier to, uh, to do that floating floor and uh, go from there. So that's, that's what we have all of that. You know, the windows are in pretty good condition, aside from that one, which we broke the other day when we were trying to get stuff out the window. Now, a lot of you guys know that from the last video, we're dealing with a number of different issues with the property. Now, we, were, we had intentions of moving in rather quick, which was kind of squandered by the cockroaches and everything that else that were in here. We've been treating pretty heavily. We've been trying to get in, knock it out. And even coming in today, like we were seeing roaches visibly scattering, doing all these things uh, prior to some of these most recent trips that we've had and the only one that I saw today I think was somewhere uh, around this area and uh, yeah it looks like it was squished and dead on the ground so we're definitely making some pretty good leeway with the whole roach situation and uh, just trying to stay on top of it yeah. roach Is it welcome to my humble abode now one thing that I haven't really talked about is the echo, no, I'm just kidding. It's the uh, the stench of this apartment that we're trying to get out as well. Haven't really been focused on that with all the work being done in the basement, but hopefully soon, we're gonna be able to address that and get this place to smell like a normal house that doesn't reek of cigarette smoke and sort of uh, a cover smell trying to get rid of it. So I'm excited for that. Up here, this is all plaster that's sort of sagging. And I'm kind of back and forth between taking out all of the plaster and drywalling versus putting just a, uh, what's it called? Shiplap. Putting the shiplap over all this stuff and, uh, and calling it a day. Just as is, it would be a lot less work and potentially look a lot nicer. The only thing I'm concerned about really is the amount of space. Cause you can see, I mean, I'm six foot two, so I'm a little taller than the average person, I guess. But I could feel like if there was shiplap in between me and the ceiling, especially this wall over here, I'm definitely gonna lose a little bit of space and feel a bit more claustrophobic. Like this already is feeling a little low. And if you look at it, like this is sagging and it's cracking. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with this area. But again, I'm not really addressing this. We got a pretty deep closet, actually pretty nice in there too. Um, I like the way that this one is structured as opposed to the other room. But come back this way. We'll just walk over into here. And what you're gonna notice is in these rooms, there's no overhead lighting, there's no lighting at all. What you have to do is plug in a lamp. And uh, I wanna make sure that we actually get some lights in these rooms too. What I'm thinking about with this closet, is really just putting the wall extended here and then over here having the access in to the closet so it is a normal closet. I don't even know if that's necessary, but I feel like having this extra height here to get in and out and putting a real door on there is gonna make a big difference. Uh, but other than that, this area, uh, one thing I'm flip-flopping back and forth between up here for the flooring is this, this whole, apartment like building is very you can hear everything going on so i'm considering putting carpeting in these bedrooms up here in this area i just feel like this this uh wood you know if you look at it the right way you can actually see through the wood down to the other unit so i feel like in terms of mitigating the sound and, and dampening things going on carpet could be the best bet now i don't know what your opinion is on that i've heard People flip-flop back and forth with rentals, so any of your advice, any of your tips with anything that I've discussed in this video would really be helpful for me. So in conclusion, there's definitely a lot of work. One thing I wanted to mention before I sort of wrap up this video is downstairs in the first unit, I would show it, but there's currently a tenant living there. One thing that we're thinking about doing is there's the, the, the open space, the three feet down there, it's actually all walled off from like, from this point back, it's completely walled off down there. And we can actually extend it and technically get another 
bedroom. We're probably not gonna call it a bedroom. We're probably gonna call it an office, but we can get an extra living space down there that I really think would drive value, rental value up on that apartment too. So I'm super excited to start looking into that stuff. Um, but again, I have to honor the lease till that lease is up and then I can really focus on what I wanna do down in that area. So it's definitely a work in progress. There's parts moving on all fronts. I think we're making some pretty good progress with everything going on overall. And again, guys, like I said, you got any tips, you got any tricks? I know that there's a lot of people who watch this channel that are into rentals themselves, into wealth building in this way. So if you're seeing anything that I'm doing that you're like, oh, this guy's a noob, he needs some advice, definitely reach out to me. I can't express how helpful it is to have you guys supporting me, to have you on my team. Anyways, guys, I wanna say thank you for checking out this video and I hope you have a great day.